Hi, this is my some of the tactics and knives, and today we're going to be looking at another uh, aspect of knife making. It's called metal etching, and uh, some people. Um, sorry, I'm looking down at the, the stuff I'm going to be doing, but some of the metal etching they do nowadays is uh, logos, and they do dates, they do names, they do very small things. I've only seen it a couple of times where people actually go and totally crazy with this idea so that's what we are going to be doing today we're going to be making something like this and i mean this is a cleaver from like the 50s i mean the handle's got to be changed but that's just wicked to look at and it's always going to start a conversation at a party i guarantee it so what i did I got a cheap knife and uh, we're going to be making this pattern that is made out of something like this. This is, uh, and you can pretty much do it with anything that sticks real good, but this is a, a tracing paper for uh, sewing. And it kind of sticks to it and doesn't let any moisture underneath, so uh, yeah, I mean this is a crazy pattern, it's going to be called the matrix knife, so uh, my friend is totally crazy about the matrix, so I had to make it look a little like a circuit board or whatever, you know. So, uh, it's going to be technology tribal. <laughs> Go get it. Uh, and what we're going to be using is this. This is a brass block. Uh, I cut out and grind uh, flat and all that. And then a handle from a screwdriver, a screw, and... A bit of gas from the hospital you know uh, because it's cheap and you got a lot of it sometimes uh, I, I break a lot of legs and uh, fingers and you know I'm kind of unlucky that way so and then uh, for a solution uh, you need a, an electrolyzed solution for your 12 volt to travel between the middle and the stamp as I call it so um, you need salt about a tablespoon and then fill it up with about here with water you know half a cup of water you don't want it fat and thick and you know you want it nice and flowy so uh, it kind of drifts into the lines and help you uh, get along uh, the way so um, I'm gonna be filling in a little water on this and I'll be right back and we'll get started down here at the table and I'll show you how although my 12 volts can you believe it so what I wanted to tell you is, uh, why stop at nice? Why not mark your tools, your car, your bike, your anything metal? Why not mark it with this way? I mean, seriously, it ju it's just... All you need to make is this. And then get 12 volts from somewhere. I mean, you can almost do it with 9 volts. I've seen it done, so... And a Q-tip instead of this. So, the possibilities are endless, so don't stop at nice, mark whatever you want, make patterns on whatever you want, because it's gonna come out fan freaking tastic every time, I guarantee you. You'll amaze some people with a little effort whatsoever, so down to the table, and I'll show you how it works. So here, we got the table, let me get you down there, can you see it, yeah. I'm gonna zoom you in to the knife. Can I do that? Yeah, I can. There you go. There you go. Sorry for touching the screen. And uh, yeah, just keep going. So what you see here, I got the plus side attached to the blade. And here's the negative. And of course, 12 volts. Sometimes 15, depending on how my machine is doing that day. And, of course, the negative, the ground. And you want to put this on the stamp. So, uh, when you do this, uh, let me get it in shot, there it is. You just dip, make it a little wet, just a little lie a little wet, because these guys don't really uh, soak up as much as, as you would think, you know. So, uh, you got to go slow. So, And then I got to take this out and put this in, and... Uh, we're good to go. Sorry. 
And there, uh, yeah, we got about, oh, wow. 17 volts today, I'm amazed. So uh, we dip it in the salt water solution. Uh, just a tablespoon to half a cup and uh, it looks like that is wet and just like drip it off, it's just salt water. And then you go. We'll start at the end here. And you'll hear a bit of popping. You know, I don't know if you can hear it. I'll get the mic closer. Can you hear it now? And let's move it. You want to burn uh, a nice even burn all over and uh, as, as you know the depth that it has to go and uh, the more you burn the more material you remove. So be careful because you can actually burn food and knife with this stuff. You can hear it. It's popping away like frying bacon. So um, I'm just going to keep on going here and, uh, you know, move this like this. When it gets a bit dry, dip it in the salt water, shake it around, you know, get the salt in there. And then put it on again. And you move it all around the blade. All around. Maybe uh, three times around. And uh, when you get everything, you, the last thing you want to do is take this and kind of like go like this and burn you know to blend everything nice and even together so uh, it's popping away I'm just gonna keep moving it but I think you get the picture right um, there's a million videos out there in this but I just thought I'd do mine because I gotta zoom in I'm a big ass head <laughs> sorry <laughs> yeah uh, but but uh, this is just an amazing way to mark your knives and it's, I just moved it again so easy you look no hands 12 volts popping away and I'm making like a pattern that's gonna stick on a knife forever it's never gonna be the same and it's not just a number it's not just a logo it's a whole knife burn so what I'm saying don't stop for nothing I'll be right back with the results and you'll see what I mean Popping away down here. I can hear it pop, pop, pop. Remember to move it every once in a while and keep the moves and the timing about consistent. So you, you know, you move it and then move it exactly at the same time again, like this. And then you just cover the pattern. Go back, cover the pattern. If you want to go deeper, go back, cover the pattern. Oh. Yeah, oh, we need to. Yeah, oh, it needs to dip. There you go, and on again. Look how easy that is. I'm actually making art right now, and I'm not doing it. <laughs> Who doesn't any much? So what I'm saying is, this is fun. It's a hell of a lot of fun because the thing that's going to come out of this is going to amaze. Not only the guy you're giving it to, but it's going to amaze everyone he makes dinner for. So, keep on moving it. We're working it in there. Uh, the salt water solution, uh, I mean, you can, lose, you can use like uh, vinegar and some electrolytes uh, solutions. But it's not really necessary. I mean, all you need to do is just a little salt water and a brass stamp. The breast stamp is the hard part. And you move it again, and you keep going. All you gotta do is stay in here, and don't inhal inhalate a lot of those fumes, because they kinda get a little rank after a while. Uh, the salt water is uh, turning into a kind of a uh, mild acid. Don't be afraid, it's not gonna burn you or nothing. Um, but it's nasty and when I'm done I'm just gonna go out and under the sink and rinse it off where you know and then move it again this is the tip so be careful in the tip and the edge area you want to not leave it on because you'll have to grind the knife down and make a whole new edge and where did they end and then we take just the top here because it didn't get taken 
to it. Let's get everything in there, and then you go back and do it once more. And all you got to do is like stand around listening to music. Ain't that cool? <laughs> so I'll be right back when I peel off the, and you'll see what I mean. Bye. Hi. So we've been uh, itching the metal for about ten minutes, and uh, the results after every the uh, everything of the masking is peeled off. This is it. So you got this now, but this look black and uh, it's kind of not the same uh, darkness all over, you know. So, so what you want to do now is you want to shine this up, and what you're using is this. Always keep the lines of a stainless uh, kitchen knife, you know, uh, keep it in order and all that, and then just follow the lines across the pattern, clean it all out, and then you polish it up with uh, another thing. So I'm gonna just rub this off now and uh, I'll catch you in a moment. Okay, so it's all cleaned up now. All the black uh, gunk is gone out of the pattern. As you see, it's gray now. And I mean, this is just amazing, isn't it? A whole new life. And uh, what you just, well, what I use is uh, Autosol, uh, uh, Autosol, whatever you call it in uh, America, and a uh, chrome polish because it always brings out an amazingly high gloss. So uh, try that out. It works. And they, they say it's for cars, but I really don't believe that. I say it's for anything because I use it for anything. It can polish uh, aluminium, brass, anything. Uh, so um, let's just get a piece of paper and I'll Scratch this up and I'll see you just in one second. I'm just going over with a bit of gas here. I don't really have anything else. And my paper is all used up. So just a shine, just a fast shine. And we're going to polish off the Autosol uh, Chrome Polish. Just take off the worst and scratch it all off nice and get it out of the grooves and I need a uh, bigger piece. <laughs> so there you go. Just using my sleeve to get the last of it. And uh, it's kind of there. Let's get it all off so I can show you. Yep. And there you go. One nice matrix <laughs> pattern on a knife. So like I said, why not go overboard? Why just do a date or something like that? Go nuts, man. The world is yours, there. And I'm having a hell of a lot of fun. So uh, I'll see you next time on YouTube. And uh, if you like this video, click on that or uh, check out next time. So uh, I think the next time I'm going to be doing a shop tour of the knife shop. but. Uh, We'll see how that goes. So, uh, this is Michael with Someday Tactics and Knives, and uh, thank you for watching. Bye, Owen.